Hi everybody, it's Victoria Henley here in my beautiful hometown of Colquitt, Georgia. Do you see the gorgeous mural behind me? I am here to talk to you today about the 2020 census and why you count. That's why you should get counted in the census. So what is the census everybody's talking about? I'm sure you've seen the signs around whether you're from Georgia like I am or wherever you might be in the United States. It is extremely vital, extremely important for you to have a voice and to get counted in the census. The census is a count of every person living in the United States in 2020. Every household is invited to participate in this census and every member of the household, even those five years of age and younger, will be counted. Now this census has been going on. The U.S. Constitution does mandate that, it be, that a census be taken every 10 years of all residents. And the very first census that ever took place happened in 1790. So why, what's the initiative here? Why should you participate in this census? There is $675 billion dollars of taxpayers money. We all know we pay a lot of taxes, right? Well, this is a way for you to get some of that tax money back. You being counted in the census determines where this money goes and kind of levels the playing field a little bit. If you are not counted in this census, jurisdictions don't know where to put this money. Uh, we could lose funding for things like our fire department, our firemen work so hard, um, our local emergency clinics, our schools, our libraries. You being counted in the census gives you a voice as to where this tax money goes. Okay, so you say, how do I get counted in this census? Um, is my voice gonna, is my name gonna be used for anything other than just statistics purposes? The answer to that is no. Federal law does protect you when you get counted in the census, so your responses only get used for statistics purposes. The kind of info that's taken within this census, you're gonna get basic things. They're gonna ask for your name, your age, your ethnicity, the amount of people living in your household, how the people in those households are related to you. Really basic stuff. People that the, the Census Bureau is never going to ask you anything really personal or intrusive like your social security number, your bank account info, none of that. So it's all just very straightforward. How you can participate in this census, uh, the Census Bureau will send you a hard copy invitation to take part in this. And you have several different options. You can take uh, part of this through just the mail option that you get. You can go on the secured website. You can get a phone call. All of your answers are very safe, secure, and kept confidential. So again, everybody counts, right? Everyone matters. With this census, it gives you a voice. It gives you a choice in how this tax money is being used. It doesn't cost anything except just a little bit of time to get counted in the census. And I promise you, for all of us taxpayers out there uh, who are hometown proud just like I am and want to make sure that we get the funding that we deserve and that we're taken care of, this census import is very important and your voice absolutely counts. So thank you so much for hanging out with me here today. And I hope that this is inspiring you to have a voice, have a choice, get counted in the 2020 census.